Hi guys, uh, welcome back to um, another video tutorial on uh, Freenas. Uh, this is actually uh, kind of part two of the um, uh, re uh, the video that I released yesterday on uh, how to uh, install Nextcloud and uh, enforce um, HTTPS. So uh, for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to mount the uh, external um, uh, data storage for um, the um, next file. All right, so uh, from the free net, navigate it down to uh, plugin. Actually, not plugin. We're gonna go to uh, jail. And uh, next cloud, we're gonna stop the service. <coughs> And then we're gonna mail uh, points uh, to the um, net, uh, network uh, storage or uh, your external uh, storage device. We're gonna add the mail point and the source. So mainly I use uh, this to back up my iPhone um, pictures. I already set up the data set. If you haven't, uh, you should uh, create a new data set uh, for this storage. And uh, I'm gonna point it to iPhone picture. <coughs> All right. And the destinations. I'm gonna mail it to uh, mail in the next file. And I'm gonna save it. All right. Now we have the mail point. You can add a uh, multiple mail point for different uh, external storage uh, to point it to a different uh, data set all right so now we got that we'll go back to jail and uh, let start the uh, net cloud service all right let's go back to plugin so if you notice uh, when you are using the management it gonna Oh, uh, it become on uh, uh, Google Chrome. It kind of have it own DNS. That's why it recognize my um, uh, domain uh, name. But uh, if you're using anything other uh, than and you don't have a DNS service at home, it might not work for you. Uh, you can use um, HTTPS and go to the um, using the local host to access. Uh, Netcloud is still going to be uh, working just fine. There you go. So that's one thing. All right. So now we're going to go to uh, setting. And uh, not sure about under basic setting. Let's go to to uh, basic setting. Nope, it's not. Uh, but here you go. Um, file handling. If you got like um, this is where you have a limit. Uh, the maximum file gonna be uploaded to your um, external storage. I got a uh, video in there that uh, actually larger than one gigabyte. So I'll put in here two gigabyte just in case. <coughs> But set it to whatever the um, maximum uh, file that you allow, and uh, let go to uh, I forgot what tab is under. I think it uh, <coughs> it might be under apps. Let's go down to apps. Yes. Yep, it's under apps. So you go down to apps and uh, it should be the external external store storage uh, support right here. We're gonna enable that one and uh, default encryption module. Um, if you want to encrypt the data, this is only work for the um, remember at the initial initial setup on the last video when you uh, set up to mount the, um, the data where NetCloud gonna store so that encryption gonna um, encrypt the data in that folder only in that folder 
but keep in mind that uh, once you set the default encryption you cannot unset it uh, something to keep in mind all right uh, so now let's go back to setting we already add in external storage now you see it they have uh, external storage in here when you go down to uh, administrations and uh, external storage and folder name I just gonna call it uh, iPhone picture <coughs> it, uh, it's gonna be a local storage and uh, remember when uh, we point it to a mail so whatever you point it to um, that's where you want to put it at and uh, use the name I put my in there and check it all right so now we should have an iPhone uh, folder so when I go uh, back to file See now you have a file, uh, um, new folder, iPhone pictures, open it up. Uh, so I have two folder, one is for my iPhone and the other one for my wife. Uh, so all the picture on our iPhone, it automatically uh, sent to uh, this uh, data set on uh, FreeNAS. So the cool thing about uh, using the external store device, it, um, if I keep it on uh, the uh, free net data set instead of using the data set um, within the next cloud, I able to access it on the computer. I don't have to log in on next cloud. So iPhone picture, the one I said earlier. So here you go. I able to access it from my computer. I don't have to log in onto uh, next cloud. That's one way to do it. And um, next. Uh, I'll show you how to uh, set it up next cloud on your um, iOS device. Okay, let me need my debt. Okay, so uh, first thing you're gonna need the next um, next cloud um, apps. So head to the app store and download the next cloud. Oops, it's a T. Mm, there you go. Download it. <coughs> So the two way to do it, if you have a DNS server, uh, which you have a domain name, then use your domain name. If not, we're gonna use the IP address. I'm gonna show you both way. One eight two four one six eight four one four one two nine. So this is the local host. And log in. And I'm gonna ask you if the certificate is invalid because this is um, the self side certificate. You won't have issue. You using a let encrypt. Or you pay for the certificate authority. Yes, and we log in and connect to your uh, account. Ran it and just log in with your username and uh, password. And let me show you the um, second way to do it using the domain name. Super easy. and now we in so as you already see it we already have the iPhone folder the other one of my Y and this is my and uh, you can set um, if you go to more in that setting auto upload hit OK auto upload the uh, photo or video and select auto upload folder uh, this is my so I'm gonna point it to my right here select it 
Hmm. It should chain already. Oh, it's probably because it's refreshing. There you go. I have to wait for it. There you go. It should be working now. And uh, if you want to upload the entire um, camera on, then select that options. Uh, if not, it only uh, gonna upload all the new photo and video that added to your uh, device. Uh, so it's totally up to you and uh, change the file name. By default, uh, they're gonna rename it uh, to year, month, and day, and then the free uh, free one of the um, sequence of the file. But you can always modify it. The beauty of using NetCloud is. Um, even though it's gonna change the file, it keep the metadata. So um, let's say you get uh, inter interrupted during uh, uploading to the f um, servers, NetCloud still able to figure out which file that already been uploaded, which one have not been, even though the file name on the NetCloud server and uh, your iOS device is different, but NetCloud um, actually maintain the data uh, metadata so they can compare which files haven't been uploaded and uh, with that uh, that's it for the um, this tutorial guy uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like and I'll see you guys in the next uh, video